Good morning from Salzburg. I have completed my laundry. However, I did not have soap, but it was such an ordeal to get the laundry done that I just decided to wash it <laughs> without soap because like I was waiting all night to get the machine. It was never there and I had like an issue with other guests and I'm like really stressed out about it. So. I just, I just did it um, without the soap. So my clothes kind of smell like water. They don't smell like the smell that was there, but they smell like dirty water. Um, I'm sharing, this is the struggles of tra tra travel. Um, two more people have come into my room. Anywho, I worked a little bit while I was getting my laundry done this morning. Uh, however, I haven't had coffee and I haven't had food. But the kitchen is so insanely small that I'm basically just going to eat meat and bread and cheese and like eat the whole pack each day and buy a new one or something because I can't deal with the kitchen. Also, another struggle is my wall plug for like my adapter or thing to make my plug fit in um it doesn't it like it's like loose so the things i plug into it are falling out of the wall it wasn't a problem at the other hostel or at my last place because it was on the floor so it just like leaned over but if it leans over on these wall ones it falls out. So I've been able to keep it in like a little bit. And I also like made my own little contraption to kind of keep it in the wall somewhat, but it's not ideal and I'll definitely need a new one. So I'm on the lookout for that as well as shorts because I'm, I'm constantly like super hot <laughs> everywhere. So I need shorts for sleeping at night, 100%, especially when it's starting to get warmer. <coughs> so yeah, today's a little bit of a struggle, yeah, last night was too, and I'm just feeling anxious and uncomfortable, so. <laughs> what can I say? I feel like I need to go out and see the views to kind of remind myself why I'm doing this and also yeah that's all just for that reason honestly um, but I need to get work done as well so I gotta figure out how to do both of those things that is gonna be the real struggle of this is like getting out to film stuff for the channel and <clears throat> Instagram and enjoy the cities because that's the point of what I'm doing but working like maintaining the work money money struggles <laughs> so yeah let's see what happens
is pretty much the end of my day. Not the end, because I'll be working the rest of the night. But, whew, these hills, baby. <laughs> I have just walked around for a few hours. It's a little after three o'clock right now. And I got some stuff from the grocery store. Hopefully enough stuff that I won't need anything tomorrow. And just going back to my hostel. And, and I really need to work on the vlog editing and working on Instagram pictures, kind of getting the Vienna pictures up. So I have a huge backlog already. <laughs> I'm back in my hostel. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody else checked in yet, but check-in starts at 3, so there could definitely still be people. I'm just a little update. Um, to Like last night and today were kind of rough, and I'm not saying I'm over it, but I was feeling a little bit anxious because of the situation that happened last night with the laundry. And I'm, but, but, uh, I'm proud of myself for going out. I went out, I saw the city, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I felt lonely though, I did. Um, so this is like, I finally hit the point of like, loneliness and struggles, I guess. I mean, they're really not that bad. Um, it's just emotional struggles. Um, but I finally hit that point and, you know, I mean, it's good. It's a part of the process. Um, I'm kind of rambly, but I I'm sharing the ups and the downs, so that's why, like, this isn't a super exciting video. Although, I mean, the sights you just saw, you saw anything that I saw, if I captured it well, gorgeous, right? Um, so yeah, I just want to say like I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm not saying I'm like out of my sort of struggly feelings. <laughs> Hopefully by the time you're watching this I am, but I'm proud of myself for going out. Uh, I could have just stayed in bed and slept all day, but I went out and now I'm going to work. Because I have to. The food situations haven't been like as good as I expected. I expected like, oh, a big kitchen, you can go and cook stuff. No. The kitchen here is super tiny. And when I went there last night, that's why I couldn't get in to do laundry. Later last night, after like the couple that was doing it was done, I couldn't get in because there were like a bunch of people in there partying. And it's super small by small, there's one table. Um, I'll try to insert a clip if I can get one, but I'm trying to avoid the place, like the plague, because I just have anxiety because of the situation that happened. So I know it's like the smallest deal ever, but when I'm here, like by myself, I'm in Europe by myself and you know, there's no one to help me. So yeah. There's no one to help me, so that's the hard part um, and the scary part. So, anyways, not trying to worry anybody. It's just this is a normal progression. This is a part of it that I expected, but it doesn't mean that it's not hard when it happens. Oh, as you saw, since I'm trying to avoid the kitchen, the window's open. So I opened the window and I put my sushi out there to keep it cold until I want to eat it because it's like I don't have that much food and like I don't have anything that can stay cold. So I'm trying to keep it um, cold out there. Good morning from Salzburg. Today is Saturday. I've been working this morning and I had a cappuccino at my hostel and now I'm going to try and make the trek up to the fortress that's in Salzburg to get the best views of the city. It 
was saying there was going to be rain today, but I think it's passed. And hopefully it won't rain until after 7 p.m. So, we should be okay. <laughs> Wish me luck because I do not have a poncho. This is all I have. So I'm like literally screwed. If I get stuck up there in the rain. But it'll be fun to watch. <laughs> Enjoy. I've been mostly inside working for the week because I'm in a hostel and it's a little bit stressful because I don't really have anywhere to fully relax and be by myself. So I've been kind of not wanting to be outside. But today I'm ready to explore. Walking along the streets here it reminds me of when I would walk around Copenhagen and just have the feeling of like, whoa, I'm in Denmark. <laughs> I don't know. Just the feeling of being in a totally different place from your home. I would always be walking like, you know, super long distances. Same thing in Berlin. I remember being in Berlin and having no money and walking like super far and being exhausted, but also just having this feeling of adventure. And that's what I'm chasing out here. So um, eventually I'll be sharing numbers because like the reason I'm walking right now is mostly because of budget. I mean, it is nice to walk around and get a better feel for the city, but you know, I'm not in like a tourist nice area here. This is like general. Yeah. So it's not really necessary. But I will eventually be sharing numbers of what I'm living on to show that it is possible to travel on extreme budget less or the same as what you're living on at home depending on where you live. For me it's gonna be about the same price. Uh, right now, in other countries, it's gonna be cheaper for sure. But I'm committed to showing that it's possible to travel on very small amounts of money. However, it's not possible in the way... It, it does prohibit your fun a little bit. Um, you have to eat cheese and bread and meat every day. like sandwiches which are still better than the ones at home because the bread's better and the cheese is better I don't know but I've uh, just made it past the first, oh, I could be taking that thing. <laughs> I just made it past the first like two flights, already dying, but come on, good enough. Probably not as bad as it seemed. <laughs>
so it's kind of cloudy today so I can't see the mountains very well so it was easy enough even though I still can't breathe that I'll probably do it again on Monday because it's supposed to be clear like a true Chicagoan because I don't even have a coat or a hat or anything. Just a thin sweater and a sh short sleeve shirt. <laughs> Almost made it back to the hostel. I'm just gonna pick up some beers from the store to drink in my room and work. I think the thing that I drink at home, which is a grapefruit cider or grapefruit beer, I think it's from Salzburg. So that's really cool. And then I'm gonna get this other beer. I'll show them to you. But I'm gonna work unless somebody's in my hostel and wants to go out for drinks or something and I'll do that. We'll see. See who's in the room. Okay, they're not cold, but I'm gonna stick them out the window. But I'm gonna taste this one right now before anyone gets in the room. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. For me, beer is something that gets worse with every sip. Wine gets better with every sip. First sip tastes good. So we can only go downhill from here. Yep. These were all about one euro. So like one dollar and ten cents or something like that. I tried to get local ones. I'm not sure if this one is local, but I know the other two, or I'm pretty sure the other two are. This is disgustingly amazing, just like all beer. All right, all right. Time to get to work. <laughs> okay, I was skyping with my friend Nicole, shout out to Nicole. So I didn't show you that I already opened my second one, which was this one. And it's really good. I love it. That's all. On to beer three. I apologize, I'm also snacking on sausage. Obsessed. This is one I've tasted before. I drink this in the U.S. all the time. Very good. I know my face doesn't show it, but it's good. So, met my roommates. Three more girls came in. There was one bed open. They are American. Oh my God. <laughs> They're the first Americans I've met since being here. So I'm sitting here and working and hoping that my South Korean roommate comes back because she seems like someone who wants to go out and meet and talk to people. And I'm in the mood for that today. <laughs> but hopefully she doesn't think I'm antisocial because I've just been like in the bed with earphones on, typing away since she's been here for the most part. Salzburg. Oh, I don't have much of a voice, do I? Today is Monday. I leave here 
tomorrow. I've been here for a week and I leave here tomorrow for Rome. And I'm excited because I get to do my laundry today. <laughs> That's exciting because when I did my laundry last time, I didn't use detergent. So my clothes weren't actually clean. So I'm super pumped for that. Also, finally going back out to explore again. So, to today. Only me. I'm wearing one item of clothing right now, and I'm doing laundry right now. And I spilled, I opened this yogurt, and out popped yogurt all over my shirt. Worst timing ever. Success! Laundry is completed and I was really excited to meet a British man who like travels. He used to do what I do. We didn't talk that much because he seemed like he was like busy but it was exciting to meet someone who does what I do. Um, because I haven't met anybody like doing that yet. Like, right, he said he used to do what I do when he was younger. And now he goes on two to three month trips every year. I like that. Like, I feel like that's what I will do. Like, do this for a few years, go back, and then stay at home. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just excited to like meet someone right now. I'm gonna go explore and sit in a cafe and write my dream. <laughs> the verdict on my clothes are some of them smell like they've been cleaned. Some of them smell like the moldy water thing. So, ew. <laughs> but what can you do? They definitely are cleaner than the last time, so we're moving up. Maybe next time they'll actually smell clean and be completely clean. Maybe. Okay, guess where we are? We are about to make a second truck up to the fortress because I'm chasing the light. It's a clear day and I want to be able to see the mountain better. So we go again. Even though it's clearer, I still can't see anything because <laughs> there's clouds like where the mountains are. There's clouds it's clear here, but like up there. <laughs> so I'm going back down to go to a cafe where Mozart used to hang out. Ah! <laughs> everybody and welcome to Salzburg. Today I travel from Salzburg to Rome on a 12 hour overnight train and I am currently packing. I have to check out in like 20 minutes. Normally I'm like way on top of stuff but last night I met some nice ladies in my uh, dorm room from Lithuania and Germany and we hung out and had G 
gin and tonics and bowled and played foosball or kicker and therefore I'm not as prepared as I was so I'll show you. <laughs> So um, it was so much fun to finally hang out with um, somebody though. They were really nice and we had a nice time. So that was good. But now I have to figure out how to clean up this mess really fast. Okay, all done. We've got eight minutes to spare. And I'd like to say a goodbye to my bed for the week. Since I always forget to end out the vlog, I'll end it here saying goodbye to Salzburg.